well it looks like i am down to my last slice of bread and that's kind of an issue because as we look around here there are no farms set up whatsoever there are no animals in sight and i realistically looking at it uh i have no way to get food right now well guys welcome back to episode two of my survival series and i've actually decided to call this series wind's world as I think it has a pretty nice ring to it. But enough messing around, I think I should start on a wheat farm somewhere over here. I actually have a chest set up so that we can start building this. I have a few carrots, which will be good. I have quite a few plants today and I think I'll explain it to you guys while we're building this farm. There are actually quite a few cool things I wanted to work on today, but for those cool things to happen, there are actually a few things I need first. I think there's two things I need first, and in that order. First of all, I I need food, like really bad. Like I said, I can't even sprint anymore. And secondly, I need materials, not just like wood or stone, stuff like that. I also need iron. I am halfway through my last iron pick, and I have no diamonds to my name. And with just a little bit of magic, we have ourselves a brand new wheat farm installed right over this direction. Oh no! Hold on. <laughs> as well as a tiny little garden right here for our carrots to be set up. Now I have the wheat storage here as well as the carrot and other crop storage right over this way. And I also installed this little path to come along to connect our starter house to the wheat field. And I really think it turned out very nice. If we go back to the base of the house, if you guys noticed, I extended this a little walkway up to the house just a tiny bit and added some greenery right in front of the door as well as terraform this mound up here a little bit for a very special build i have planned and i bet you guys won't guess what it is it might be obvious now that we built this wheat field here but before we can build that i actually need to go mining i should probably sleep there's a bunch of mobs spawning around Ah, that's better. Nice and rested. Ready to go on our mining venture. Not out the door that way, though. Let's let's use the other door. That was close. Ah, oh, never mind. False alarm. Oh, oh my god. I need to stop that for a sec. I can't feel my lips. <laughs> Whoa, what have we... Got here. Well, let's hop on down. I'm right. Oh, oh, look, whoa, look at this. Oh, and that's a spider spawner. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! Oh, this is so bad. Oh no. This is pretty bad. This is very, very bad. This is like really. Oh my god. No. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh, hello, skeleton. I'm just gonna move this way. Ignore me. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Hey, redstone. We have not found that yet. Want to look at the cool things, creeper? Leave me be. Go away. Okay, I should... You know, I was going to say I should have made a shield, but I don't have any iron. So, that's... No, I cannot make a shield. Hello? Oh, that's bad. We don't like that. Oh, but we really like that. Ah, fresh air at last. We are finally out of the caves. But let's not waste any more time. I have all of our resources we need here, and I believe we are completely ready, so let's go! And just like that, the windmill is complete. So let's head on up there and I will show you guys some of the details right up close. 
Starting off, let's move through the unfinished starter house all the way back here to the patio that connects the windmill all the way to the starter house. And I think there are a ton of great details here, including the flower pots, some hay bales, and some lanterns along the side. If we go into the actual windmill, and we look around, there are a bunch of hay bales, some more flower pots, and back here show you guys what this does in a second but let's climb on up now up at the very top we have our pulley system connected all the way to the actual windmill how did that guy get up there <laughs> but yes there is an absolutely lovely view from all three sides here but let's climb right back on down and i will show you guys what this thing is over here now if you guys notice the windmill it actually doesn't sound like it's running at all and that is an issue. We need the windmill to be running. All we have to do to fix that is it looks like this is disconnected from the windmill. We flick that and walk over this way. Our crops are being irrigated. And if by any chance at all we need to stop the irrigation and stop the water flow, all we need to do is go back into here, flick off the lever which disconnects the windmill from the actual irrigation system and the water has stopped flowing how cool is that well at this point in time it looks like the windmill is about complete and i am absolutely thrilled with how it came out but quickly let's address what's going on behind us right now not quite an elephant in the room but most definitely a bird in the room are you trying to get my seeds um i i don't think i can allow you to do that i you know what i'll tell you what here if i give you i give you a seed oh you like a seed tell you what i'll give you as many seeds as you would like if you stay out of the crops here like some seeds oh i think he likes me well i guess this is our new friend right on my shoulder here um i'm gonna have to come up with a name for him that's that's crazy I wonder where this guy came from I guess there is a jungle right next door. That must have been where this guy came from. Well, bud, um, until I finish the interior to my house, I don't really have a place for you to stay, but you are more than welcome. Here, actually, follow me up here. You are more than welcome to stay inside of the windmill for now. There's plenty of seeds, plenty of wheat if you get hungry, and a little bit of water right here. All right, bud, well, you can stay right in here. I'll give you some seeds and some privacy. See ya. Well, I think I may be going a little bit insane. I am talking to a bird and it is living in my uh, windmill now. So, you know, as a matter of fact, it looks like the bird is living better than I am. I don't even have an interior to my house. You know what? I think I know what we're going to do next. First, I need to gather some resources real quick. And just like that, materials have been gathered and interior has been completed. If we move further into the house, we have right at the front entrance a little kitchen area with a little bit of storage for the food, a brewing stand, and some furnaces, as well as a little tiny table here with a cake on top of it. And I really like the way this turned out. I think it looks really good and the cake is just the perfect finishing touch. If we continue to move into the house past the potted plant, we move over to the bedroom. I think it's worth mentioning that one of my favorite parts of the entire house is actually the flooring. I just love the way this turned out with some of the stripped birch logs, with some of the birch wood and some sand here. And I don't have a lot of materials to work with, but I think it turned out very well with the things I do have to work with at the moment. Ah, oh, isn't that so pretty? The sun setting past our bed here. Ah, oh, looks so nice. But I'm getting carried away. Let's, let's continue on the tour. But if we move upstairs, we have ourselves a little storage area that we can always extend on. Especially like the little jungle desks as the work area. I think it adds a lot of contrast here which this room desperately needs. I need to work a little bit more on the details because it still feels a little bit plain up here, but overall, I really like the way it looks so far and I'm really happy about it up here. And naturally, these doors out here lead all the way from the house to the windmill that we just built and to our little parrot friend who's still just chilling inside of here. Hey, bud. And our first night in our brand new bedroom. Oh, this is just absolutely lovely i am so happy about this interior but guys i think i'm gonna call it here i've done quite a lot today and i am pretty worn out but i'm really happy with the progress we made especially with the windmill the interior and this little aqueduct system 
I, I'm just super happy about everything we did today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you everybody.